it, it's the product that I'm most excited about that I've seen from VW. I, I was skeptical in terms of being able to use it. It doesn't look like a lot there to do what I expect and what they say it will do. My name's Jason Wyckoff and we're in Mucalau, Indiana. We farm about 5,500 acres, 2,000 to 2,500 acres of sea corn. We also raise corn and soybeans, non-GMO corn, and some other specialty corns. My oldest daughter is helps in the office with our technology, and then our youngest son, he's just got an Army basic training this last year, and he started with us. Ryan and I, we raise um, corn, soybeans, wheat. We did a little oats this year. Um, it's just a family farm that we have. Grew up on the farm. And went to school, went to, to junior college, and then came back to the farm. Just have a passion for it, I guess. Love it. We're a team, and um, it's just been so fun. I love it because every year something's different. You know, you can't in farming, you cannot predict the weather, the prices, um, what's gonna happen. I wouldn't say it's easy. Um, it just makes it easy if you love it. We have a, a, an infero fertilizer system on our planters, and that's a lot of work. We're looking for a reason to get rid of it, and we haven't been able to, and BioBoost, it was one of those deals where it was like, wow, this, this actually worked from an application standpoint, and it was easy, and it was like, that was painless. You have to have something for, for flowability in the planter. With talcum graphite, you'd use it, you'd get really dirty, it's messy. It just goes everywhere. I mean, it doesn't stick to the seed. With the BioBoost, it's just been so easy to use, and. I had no problems with things plugging up or anything like that, which every year we've had a problem until this year. So definitely a win on that. From a cost standpoint, you know, you talk about a big risk. We didn't see it as a huge risk because there is a cost associated with graphite and talc. Um, and the BioBoost, we didn't think was that much more expensive. And the upside for what we were going to get with that product uh, made it very attractive for us and it, I feel like you're not wasting it. I mean, I felt like the other, you dump it in and half of it blows up in the air and you're, it just seems wasteful. Um, where this, you know what you put in there is actually sticking to the seed, coating it well. We work really hard on trying to get our planters prepared, our planting in the right conditions, uh, strip tilling fertility in the right conditions, and we do all of that and sometimes we still can't get the perfect emergence we want and it's like chasing a ghost and and what we saw with BioBoost is it it helped buffer like some of those things that we can't control early on in the season uh, just after emergence my daughter went out and did emergent scores and stand scores with BioBoost and without BioBoost and we saw an advantage to the BioBoost on emergence and a better plant a more vigorous plant BioBoost is just like every time, just just winning. Soybeans, especially on the rougher ground, I was seeing an emergence, you know, the emergence was, was you know, roughly 20% higher. You know, this spring we were talking about how the beans were just so dark green, beautiful looking. To even driving around and looking at your field versus your neighbors where we would do it on a larger scale, you could totally tell. BioBoost is, is definitely gonna be a product that I use next year with the ROI that I've seen from it. It's gonna be on every acre next year.